good morning, gang. What's going on? So, Yankees have been playing awesome. Happy. And I always like to speak on behalf of you know, I help myself and other happy Yankee fans and, and, and join in the celebration for them. But I also want to speak on behalf today of, of, of frustrated Yankee fans, particularly ones in, one, in, in a certain area. And it's not the play. The beef is not with the players today or the management. Okay, or the coming the coaches, right? The beef is with the ownership. What do I mean by that? Well, if, of the next week, okay, let's just say using Sunday to a Saturday week, okay? Yesterday you had to watch it on Peacock, the game. Today's an off day, okay? Um, tomorrow you have to watch it on Yes. And keep in mind, those that used, used Yes Network via YouTube TV no longer have that ability to do so either because they've dropped their partnership with the Yes Network. So, and then, and that's tomorrow. And then Wednesday, you have to, you need Amazon Prime Video to watch the game. And then you go back to Yes on Thursday. And then Friday, you need Apple TV. So, you need four different memberships just to watch this week's Yankee games. Okay. And to me, that is, I have to vent frustration here because, again, it's beyond, it's just, it's ass backwards. Okay. And how many, how many memberships do you need to get? I mean, it's already becoming harder to afford games. It's so hard to afford games at the stadium, especially if you want to take your kids, your family. You wind up spending a thousand bucks just to go to a baseball game. Like, it's crazy. And you also need four memberships just to watch your team play. Um, and it's already crazy enough because, you know, you can live in New York and be blocked out of games. And which is like you live two miles from the stadium, you can't even watch all the freaking games. Like, what is going on here, right? So I'm speaking on behalf of the frustrated people today who, who just can't watch games. They're diehard fans, but, they, you know, 25% or 30% of the games they can't watch unless they get these all these different memberships and subscriptions, My, myself included. Okay, and it, it's, it's very frustrating. And, you know, it just adds up. Again, all we want to do is watch our favorite team play. And they're making it more difficult. It's, you know, it's about money, 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 money. At the end of the day, that's not a Cashman thing or a Boone thing as much as people love to trash these guys. This is a how thing, Randy, an ownership thing. So, and their decision to prioritize money over a lot of other things. And to me, it's, it's exceptionally frustrating. So, but I want to know what you think. Even on off days, you know, like this, when there's no game, it could be other news. Stuff like this I wanted to talk about because this popped up last night on Twitter. And I wanted to <laughs> let you all know ahead of time what the streaming is going to look like this week. That way you can, if, if you're unable to capitalize or take advantage of a couple of these games, let us know in the comments. I want to know. Vent that frustration because I'm, I'm right with you. Okay? And, again, this is my, this channel This channel here is for Yankee fans. By a Yankee fan, for Yankee fans. So, and I don't know how frustrating it is for other teams and other networks and blah, blah, blah. But it's very frustrating in Yankee land to have to deal with this. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, but again, it is what it is right now. So we have to figure out a way to, and hopefully yeah, the YouTube TV will pick up the Yes Network again, you know, or get a new partnership or whatnot, because that's that's a big blow to a lot of folks who utilize the Yes Network who don't live in New York, who need YouTube TV to use it. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And I, and I think it's important. Again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, we talk about a lot of stuff like this too. Not only games, you know, post games and breaking news and stuff like that. So don't leave without subscribing, please. I want to make sure that you're in on everything. Okay. But that 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 schedule is crazy for the next week. It's like, my goodness. Okay. So obviously if you're subscribed too, you'll get everything else too. Breaking news and um, post game live streams and everything else too. But um, it's this type of stuff that's, I think, an important conversation, too. And it's important for you folks uh, to vent your frustration if you have it, okay? Because at the end of the day, we want to be able to take our friends and families to go see our favorite team play, right? When, at the very least, if we can't do that, we want to be able to watch them on freaking TV. And if you can't do that a bunch of times, what else is there? I'm not going to start watching cricket, all right? So I'm not doing it. So, uh, but, or whatever else. But <laughs> I want to watch my Yankees, but... Let me know what you think. Load up the comments. And again, if other, any other breaking news comes out today, there's going to be roster moves happening over the next week or so with with um, Tommy Canely projected to come back this week at some point. He's had two rehab uh, games already. He's got two or three more, and he's projected to come back. So Canely, Stanton's getting ramped up now. And a couple other guys are getting ramped up too. So it's going to be a more healthy team with more added weaponry in the, in the tool shed. So, but let's get into this one. Let's talk about it. Happy Monday. Have a great week, everybody. And I'll talk to you all next time.